Okay, so for today's Retro Bass setup, guys, we are checking out Simple 64, the N64 emulator for Retro Bass. I actually covered this a little while back as a standalone setup guide and it's nice to know that Retrobat have now incorporated this emulator so Retrobat users can take advantage of it. It's truly a great emulator and if you're interested in N64 check this one out. <laughs> Okay then, before I start today's Retrobat N64 setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming Retrobat and other retro emulation content that I cover here on my channel, Just Jamie. So we're looking at Simple64 today for Retrobat and I actually covered this one, it's a standalone emulator just a little while back and I highly recommend using this emulator if you're an N64 fan. So first of all, we're going to have to enter inside of Retrobat to actually download this. Okay, so once you're inside a Retrobat, we're going to go into the Retrobat icon, and from here, we're going to just scroll down until we find Simple64, and here it is. So just click into that, and then we're going to install this, so just press yes for now. A new version is available. Let's just quickly update this, so select yes, and then just let this do its thing. Okay, so once that's been installed and updated, just click out of here for now. And we're going to exit out of Retrobat, so main menu. And what we're going to do next is just go into the Retrobat shortcut, right click on it, open file location, batch UI. And if we go to the system list, open up system. Now, I always say this to everyone who watches my Retrobat setups, but if you don't see this, pull down just here check out my comprehensive guide for setting up Retrobat. But if you do see this, and hopefully you do, we're just going to scroll down until we find N64. And under extensions, this is the game extensions that we should need. So as we can see on my desktop, I've got a .Z64 or a .Z64. And this is actually supported for N64 inside a Retrobat, as we can see, .Z64. We also got .N64, .Watt, .Zip. And it's also going to tell us here two retro watch libretto cores, which are also going to support N64 inside of Retrobat. But as we know, we're doing Simple 64, so let's just close out of here. And what I'm going to do next inside of Retrobat directory is just scroll down until I see ROMs. And inside of ROMs, we're going to scroll down until we get to N64. And here it is. So just drag your games inside of the ROMs N64 folder. And from here, we can then open up Retrobat again. Okay, so we're gonna go into Nintendo 64, press select on your controller, view options, advanced system options, emulator, and we're gonna find Simple64 just here amongst some other emulators we can download to play N64 on. Select Simple 64 and we're going to download some artwork in a preview video for GoldenEye. So main menu, Scraper and Scrape Now. Okay, Scrape and Finish update game list. So we're going to scroll up to game settings, update game list and just select yes. And here it is. So let's just remember that we do need Simple64 activated under emulator and we're going to just open up the game from here.
And as we can see, it's running perfectly, really flawlessly in fact. But the trouble is, it looks really old and it looks jagged around the edges and the resolution can really be improved on this. So what we're going to do is go to view options by pressing select. Down to advanced system options, internal resolution, I'm going to bump this up to four times. Vertical sync, just make sure this one's selected to yes, or in fact, if you keep this to auto, it will select yes anyways. Under visual rendering, we got anti-aliasing just here. If we apply anti-aliasing, it means those jagged edges will start disappearing rather than the jagged edges on objects in the game like we just seen. So with those settings applied, we're going to open it up again. As we can see, that's looking a hell of a lot better. Visually, it's looking a lot sharper and things just look a lot clearer. So you might notice there was a slight bit of lag just there. So what we're gonna do is go to back to view options, advanced system options. Now, if you face this same issue with lag, it's quite likely your internal resolution. So if I put mine down to two times and just be mindful that the original resolution for the N64 was around 480 interlace. 480 progressive so just boosting this up to two times is a massive deal and it's going to still look really good and also if we go down to video what we're going to do is stretch to screen make sure this is on and we're also going to put forceful screen on just here and let's go back into the game So as we can see, full screen is now active, but it still looks a little bit blurry. And that's likely because the full screen is making it stretch just a touch. So I'm going to try again to go to advanced system options and just boost in internal resolution back up to four times to see if this looks good. And back into the game. And that's it for my simple 64 and retrobat setup guide today i just had to go up close to one of those enemies just so we can see the face again that goofy looking face with that really odd haircut very funny stuff i know it's a nine years but still whatever so if you like today's video hit notification subscribe and like like i say it helps my channel out a great deal plus it gets you up to date retro emulation content as i upload it which is every day and also check me out on social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram and tiktok but until next time stay retro mm -hmm.